Speak to the handler. Let's do that. Where's my handler? A lot of people in this session. Who's that? Oh, that's the cook, right? It's got dialogue, apparently. Hey, Scrawny, ready to get your pre-hunt on? You interested in bulking up the, uh, the canteen with more ingredients? Now that's what I'm talking about. Take care of the quest Fungal Flexin' in the Ancient Forest, and the menu will be more packed than a Great Jagras' belly. Finish that one up, and I'll be able to get my paws on the goods. Don't let me down. Alright, look. Deliver 20 gourmet shroom caps. Can I get those while I'm doing other missions? Emilio's posted a quest. How do I look at that? That's not how. Start. Quest info? No. Is there a whole chat? That's just there. Not sure how to do the posted chat thing. Oh god, how do I... Oh no. Uh... Okay, I can close it again or something? There's a lot going on here. Uh, player list. Can I click on Emilio to go to his mission or something? He's in standby. Appoint quest leader. Inspect equipment. He's got a bone shotel. Oh! That's a katana variant, right? Probably? I'm not sure. It's Hunter Rank 2. Boy, oh boy, is there a lot to take in right now. Hey there, partner! Right, so the next thing we need to take care of are those Kestadon. The chief said he'd be tagging along with us. How about we start our search in the ancient forest and go from there? Ah. Oh, and I've got some news. We handlers post all the leads we find up on the quest board. You sign up for the quest there, too, so you don't always have to come all the way up here. But then again, you might miss out on all the eats up here. You can pick up quests from the quest board, too. It lists the same quests that I've got, so don't worry about having to check two places. Are those just all over the place as being a bunch of red locations? Whereas she herself is also a quest- okay. Ghost has posted a quest. I don't know how to join their quest. <laughs> I'm not trying to be stupid, but like, I don't understand. <laughs> so I'd love to- I'd love to run around a group for a bit. It seems nice. Do I click on Ghost? Inspect, send guild card, chat. Invite to squad. Leaders only. I'm not- I'm not a leader, so I can't do that. Remove from quest? Hmm. It might be that I'm already on a mission, so I'm not allowed to do stuff yet. But then I'd kind of wonder, like, why'd they already throw me into multiplayer? Post a new quest, join a quest. There we go. So I do it from a job board. One for the history book. Oh, these are... Those look high level. Let's do the optional one. Burning head... Budding heads with nature? Emilio. Bone Chatel. Level one. Fight some dudes. Slay 12 Kestadon. Let's give that a shot. What? What did I do? You need a passcode? Where's- where's it even telling me that a passcode is currently involved? I guess it's the fact that there's a no uh, lock next to them? Okay. Can I filter those out so they don't show them to me? Cause I'm- I'm not gonna know the passwords. These old player- oh yeah, these are old players too. Yeah. Subasa Terino. Remember from another online session. Okay. Sure. Respond to SOS. No. Okay, post a new quest, I guess. So I need to manually post the one that I was just given. Optional. Sure. A thicket of thugs. That's the one I already did. Fungal flexin' in the ancient forest. 
20 gourmet shroom caps. Let's give that a shot. Oh my god, <laughs> there's so many pop-ups. When lucky vouchers are used when posting a quest, you'll receive bonus rewards upon completing the quest. Be sure to use vouchers whenever you have the chance. Random quest rewards are guaranteed to drop. Uh, reward... Oh. So if it says there's a chance of a quest reward, if I do this, it becomes a guaranteed quest reward. That's cool. Money, uh, reward money doubles. Lucky vouchers are obtained via login bonuses. One voucher is delivered every day, and you can claim up to five days worth of, uh, at once. Also note that you can only carry a maximum of five. Okay. Just get in, in the mission. Quest accepted. Okay. So people could join if they want to, I guess, but I'm just gonna, just gonna go for it. Yeah, depart on quest. Standing by for quest departure. Press, please wait until quest info is loaded. Ooh. Does this mean no more loading screens? Am I, is this what a loading screen looks like? Or is it just stalling to see if somebody will join? I am very much winging it. <laughs> they want me to cast it on Kerfuffle, but hey, side quest. The cat wants it. Stand by for departure. Waiting for other party members. There are not any. Players still departing, will not, preparing will not depart with you. There are not any of those that exist. No, it looks like there's still a loading screen. Huh. Do they make you wait an arbitrary amount of time for online multiplayer purposes, even though there's no people in the party? Just on the off chance they'll join or something? Bungle flexing in the ancient forest. Alright. Delivery quests require you to collect special items. Once gathered, these items are delivered automatically and do not get added to the item pouch. As a result, there is no need to worry about running out of space and no need to manually deliver them. Deliver the required number of items during the quest to complete it. So you just, do you deliver them or do you just grab them? It seems like you just grab them. Yeah, you just grab them. Okay. Special items other than those specified by the quest are automatically converted into Zenny. Your goal on this quest is to obtain and deliver some materials. Step one... Go find some. Alright, let's go find some crap then. Gourmet shroom cap. What's the sparkle doing? Oh, it's it's humming in on craftable things. There we go. Are there even dangers around? Ooh. Questionable footprints leading up to something, apparently. I wonder. If I investigate these enough, does a new hunt get unlocked? I didn't pick that up. Let's pick that up. You're less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. Oh wow, it is actually swallowing that other monster hole. That's terrifying. Wow, that's horrible. Oh, how do I undo it? There we go. Wow, yeah, it swallows an entire monster hole, then drags it away so that it can uh, resign itself to its new failure. Skid marks from it dragging away. Ten points. Is this like research bonus on the Jagras? Got myself some stones. I'm here for gourmet shroom caps, though, which I've apparently not even found. Oh, that's the one that heals you. Same thing. Is this also a healing thing? Oh, Florin. Alright. You can pick these up. I think someone just joined my session? I don't know if... I don't know if... Uh, if we're just in one continuous lobby still. When I, when I looked at the lobby, it said somebody from a different session is in this lobby. So I was thinking maybe that means that if somebody joins this entire lobby, it says that. And it's not necessarily my match. Because I don't see another health bar, and I think other players have health bars in this game. A little caught off guard by how apparently small my health bar is. 
because I've seen I've seen images of Monster Hunter before where like there's just this massive health bar sprawling across the screen just absurdly. Well, that one's gonna eat somebody. Who's a creepy creepy? You can't see me, I'm crouching. That means I'm invisible. <laughs> I get the feeling I'm not ready to fight him, because he's massive. I could be wrong. Your wildlife map keeps track of where you are and where the scout flies are taking you. You can also use it to keep tabs on monsters. Mining out crops, honey. I don't currently know where my objective is, do I? Yeah, there's the Jagras. I, I think I should avoid him and go up there. There's Bone Pile. Mining, Parish Room. Bone Pile. Needlebury. That one's flashing. Just some kind of herb. Every footprint I find adds this bonus. Okay, let's- oh god, is it following me? That's just uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm not psyched about that. Spiderweb. Is that the sh- oh, bright moss. Bright moss I, can be used I had to hopes. Ammo. Launch it at walls to eliminate dark areas. Like the inside of a cave, for example. Oh, it's a projectile. It's not even a, a thing that I gather. So it just keeps, it just swallows something whole and wanders off over and over again for, I guess for consuming it, for digesting it. Oh, it's, is it puking up the corpses for its young? Oh. Neat. Cool little zone to explore, but I am not finding the thing I'm supposed to find. Let's see. You can fast travel back to camp simply by selecting it from the wildlife map. Does it tell me where to expect it? So those are the zone those are zone numbers. That's my icon. I actually don't know where to find it. Uh, is it on my screen somewhere? I don't know if they tell you where to get it. Maybe I just gotta keep wandering. Probably be here a bunch of times, so I might as well just get used to this map and figure out what it's shaped like. Ooh, is that a mushroom? Is that it? It's a blue mushroom. That's not a gourmet shroom cap. Infused with power enhancing effects. Using restorative items. Maybe I can turn it into a gourmet shroom cap by cooking with it? It might be that I have to prepare the items to become the objective. Kinda wanna keep going this way, see if it turns out to be the right track. Found my first mushrooms over here. The only thing I can really figure a shroom cat probably is, is it's probably a mushroom. Excite shroom. Oh, I can't I can't pick those up. Excite shroom. There's all these shrooms here that I can't pick up. Crafting list.
What are the categories here? Healing support. It might be a gourmet shroom. Perhaps defense, ammo, coatings. You'd think healing support. Just look at craft a bowl. Blue mushroom plus antidote becomes herbal medicine. That is definitely not a gourmet shroom cap. Whoa, look at that. This is evidently... This is evidently zone 15. This might be a really big zone then. So I, I was curious. Supposedly... Somebody said that they found gourmet shroom caps in zone f uh, hello? What are you exactly? Am I yeah. supposed to kill you? I can. <laughs> I just want to be horrible about it and then take your guts and weird fungus bacon or whatever you're worth. materials off of monsters. These materials are vital for producing new equipment and upgrading what you have. That is a swine made of moss. And Moss Swine High is a unique item. Okay. So it's been recommended to me to check out Zone 5. Which I need to figure out how to find. Alright. Probably should have picked that up instead of running past it. It's cool though, this is my chance to explore a bit. And apparently I'm adding chunks of map to my map, because 15 wasn't there before I don't think, and now it is. I think we started off with four zones on my map, probably from that tutorial. It seems like you find them chunk by chunk. Probably want to go down though. If I want to go, to, if I want to find five, it's probably up to this northern path, because it's next to four. If numbers mean anything, that's what I'd guess. If that's the case, I probably want to teleport back to camp. Honey. Why is there an X on it? Curious about that. Very curious about that. If you go sprinting off a ledge, he just does his jump all on his own. Alright, let's test my idea. So I don't have a map to go off of yet. Let's see if I can, if this turns out to be where I think it might be. You can see him running around with the little, little acorn shovel in his mouth. That's great. I uh, maxed out on Needleberry. Is my, is my whole inventory maxed? All the more reason to find what I'm actually here for. Oh, uh, footprints. Add them to my map. It's for question mark creature. That's great, Jagras. Ooh, bunch of stuff down there. Toxic mucus. I'm hoping there's some novelty to the idea of me not knowing what I'm doing as a new player, because otherwise this is going to be the most exhausting and frustrating thing to watch ever. <laughs> Target destination for your scout flies on the map. I leveled up my footprints. Just told me to assign a target for my scout flies. How though? You can assign a target destination for your scout flies on the map, they say. I'm like, X, 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 X. I'm like, I have no other buttons, do I? Okay, you look hostile. It's the Puke Puke. Is it a friendly Pookie Pookie? I don't think he's friendly. He looks- oh, he's roaring at me. He's doing a Rory Boo. Are you, are you over me? Did going slightly out of range make him not care anymore? Oh, unique mushroom colony. Perfect! You've got the materials you need. I'll mark where you found these on the wildlife map. Uh oh. I don't think he's happy. Oh, he looks- is that a chameleon bird? That's awesome. Ow. Ow. Whoa, damage taken. Take 
How much health do you have? I have no idea. I'm kind of scared. You're like a rainbow fairy dragon version of a chameleon monster. That's kind of awesome. Oh, triangle. That's a thing that happens? That's awesome. I can ride it like in the other Capcom game. Oh, race. I'm riding a monster like in like in uh, Dragon's Dogma. I'm doing one damage at a time. It's not very impressive. Oh, please don't throw me off a cliff or something. What is that? Okay. I'm just just falling. I'm just believing the cooked event and hoping it's true. Whoa. Okay, it's down. Now's your chance to get in there and tear it up. Oops. I was probably supposed to go around and attack it from its, its backside, huh? Whoa. Okay, well this got exciting very quickly. Ow. Bad. I'm in the air! Uh, no, other one. This one... Square. Square is apparently how you do it. No, not the... How, why are you using that? I obviously wanted to use a heal. How did I, do, how did I screw that up? What is happening? Oh, I ran away when I was trying to- No! I'm trying to figure out how to play the game! Why is the- Wait, you can just use the D-pad? Why are they- They're trying to- They keep telling me to use L1 where his nightmare menu comes up, but I can just use the D-pad to scroll between them? That's 5,000% easier. Why don't you just tell me that first? Instead of saying to hold L1. That's the worst in- Ah, oh, I ran away! I want to kill the crap out of that thing. That was cool. What a cool monster design. Can I just farm the same one again? Glad I found what I was looking for. Oh, I got multiple from the same thing. Cool, so as we find new things, they get added to the map overall. It's a wiggly litchy. Can I tell the game to track down the thing that I was fighting? I want to fight it again. Okay, so you get multiple from one stash. That's good. I don't have to find set 20 separate iterations of the same item. But I, just, I just continue to send off these green pulses that fly at everything nearby. That might be useful. Okay, Poke. How do I find Poke Poke? I need to fight him. I won't even know if it's the same one again if I fight him again. I want to be all like Poke Poke, we meet again. I have maxed the crap out of my inventory. Maybe I should craft some stuff. That's not how you craft stuff. Craftable herbal medicine, poison, poisoned meat as like bait. That's kind of neat idea. Removes all traces of poison and restores a slight amount of- oh, so it's a poison healing item for me. So I've got a, I got a heavy emphasis on, on poison items here. The idea of traps sounds interesting. Amount to craft maximum. Now I can only craft one. Just on my one toadstool. Then there's parish room. Alright. That gives me some more space, at the very least. How's my time limit on the actual mission? Don't I only have like an hour? Not sure how I feel about time limits, because I kind of just want to wander around and have some fun. Let's see. Yeah, I've only got 30 minutes left. Oh, but what about Poke Poke? Oh, Poke Poke is over there. Oh, uh, but what if there's more mushrooms up here? Oh, let's do the mushroom mission first. Except what if it makes me ma leave? That would suck.
And there's mushrooms all around. Yeah, they seem to respawn on a timer too. You know what? Screw the screw the mushrooms. Whoa! If you run down a slope, you actually start sliding. That's cool. Oh, he came back. My nemesis. Apparently. I've apparently decided you're my nemesis. I don't know if you agree with that. Your stamina cap has dropped. Eat some well done steak to restore it to max. How do I launch you, my friend, again? Crap. There we go. I want to launch my thing. It's a uh, extract triangle. Triangle. Grab pieces of it. You running away? You think you can run away from me? Kaiklu's attacking too. Give me my. Give me your elements. Awesome. Oh god, secondary enemy. Oh god. Antidote. There we go. Now that I know that's just left and around the D-pad, this is way easier. <laughs> Complete miss. I am facing the wrong way. I need to figure out how to mount him again. That was cool. Okay, the poison's a problem. And that was my only antidote, wasn't it? Uh-oh. Whoa! Gecko tongue! That's neat. Not him. Oh god, don't- I hope that thing doesn't aggro. No, don't aggro. It's gonna probably kill what I'm fighting. That would suck. Ow. Oh, I fainted. No. Oh, your reward decreases when you faint. I have no concept of how much health it has. I don't think there's a health bar meter anywhere, is there? I need to use a whetstone, which I apparently have infinite of. There we go. My blade sharpness was was decreasing, which means my damage was decreasing. And the ration will give me more stamina again. What does the flashing U symbol mean? I'm not sure. The mini map has a flashing U symbol on the enemy that defeated me. Is it just an indication of that that's what made me faint? So I ran into problems there because I ran out of my antidote. I just didn't have any left. So the poison's a problem. You're probably not supposed to fight this guy yet. But, you know, it's a matter, it's a serious matter now. Oh, weird. I was, when I was talking about the short health bar, I just realized that that's Kaiklu's health bar, which is not mine. Oh yeah, mine, mine shrink into being little symbols. And that, yeah, and there's the full one. I want to mount him again. How did I do that? That seemed to be a decent way to get a bunch of damage out for free-ish. No, don't just fly away again. Come back here. Where are you going? Feathers. Level 5. Am I leveling up the research for this enemy? There's just, like, pieces of him everywhere now. Oh, get the herb. That'll help with the healing. I have such a simple task of get some mushrooms, and I'm so much more interested in this bizarre monster I just encountered at random. 
Oh, wait, look at him running around. Is it because he's hungry? So he retreated up to there. Should have a monster manual. Are you about to attack me? Do you not do that, please? I'm not really interested in dealing with you. Are we fighting? Is that what we're doing right now? He looks mad at me. Okay, he's mad. Okay, I guess I'm not looking at my master manual right now. Oh god. Secondary target. Okay. The lock on is a mistake. Never use lock on. Dodge their attacks. <laughs> you don't want to take hits like that head on. You running away now? You done? You attacked me, bro. Have I forgotten how to get research points? Monsters. Is that the things? Yeah. Level research. The Poke Poke. I'm almost getting a research level in the Poke Poke. But I've apparently forgotten how to look up information about these things. Was it in here? What is that? There's a claw mark and then a progress meter for those enemies. Oh, Poke Poke is hungry. He's got like the the mouth icon. Get climbing. Let's get away from this guy. He's gonna be a problem if he aggroes. I may just grab the shrooms and be happy with that. Otherwise, I'm at risk of failing. I don't know how much more time I'll have. Are there any more around? I forgot to check the first one I found again. I walked past it. Mainly there's a giant iguana monster coming by, and that's threatening. <laughs> It kicked me out when I did the other objective, so I'm worried that it would kick me out when I finish this one, which is why I was kind of leaning away from doing it, because I wanted to fight Poke Poke. So whenever I find a question mark, it becomes a new thing added to my list. And then it's added to the map, and so then I, from then on, know how to find it. So the antidote herb just turns into antidote on the spot. That would have been good to have a moment ago, huh? I need to get better at distinguishing between, yeah, yeah, that, the difference between items you pick up versus items that, uh, are just like a food, I mean not food, uh, item, items that you get for your inventory versus items that are like, shoot this with your wrist launcher. Nice, even more antidotes. Now I'm way more capable of fighting the Poke Poke. The dreaded Poke Poke. Ooh, what are these? For an unknown creature? Maybe get a chance to learn over time what this creature is that I'm getting footprints for that leads towards something unknown. Whatever it is, I've actually made incremental progress at researching it. really thought that he ate it from up there. Ew, oh, it's mucus. For the Anjanath. Hey, we leveled it up. Apparently we're awesome with Anjanath now. That's the Vigor Wasp. That's the thing that heals me. Oh yeah, it just straight up explodes its Vigor pouch all over us. Ugh. Never say that again. There's gonna be like an Anjanath here that attacks me, isn't there? are beautiful environments and I am wandering aimlessly. Which I would not be bothered by at all, except for the part where I wonder about the people watching. <laughs> the 
Let's investigate what that X means. There's a weird flashing X right here. Is it is it like a is it a fast travel point or It's right here. Is it that? Do I shoot that down? Grab it! That doesn't work that way. <laughs> Deal with that. Oh, it's the current goal of... Oh. It's the current goal of a particular monster. In this case, that. Oh! That was a hell of a time to realize what was happening. Boy, was that timing. <laughs> I just happened to open it up and like, oh, it's a giant, it's a hot, giant, horrible T-Rex monster that's here to kill you. <laughs> oh boy, uh, I learned what the X's mean. <laughs> Don't worry about me, it's I'm running past you, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. I'm sorry. Did I just hear that stock sound? I'm sorry, make that sound again. Make it. There it is! That's the same sound they use for the dragons that shoot their fire in a... Uh, ooh, monster bone. Cool. I need that for my upgrades. Give me a minute. Don't worry about me, guys. I just want these bones. Ooh, upgrade items. Yeah. Or that... I didn't know that was a stock sound. I mean, uh, Capcom wouldn't be using the same sounds as From Software unless it was a stock sound. So the sound of the dragon burning the bridge in Demon's Souls, I believe? is the same sound that they're using here, so that's a stock sound. Oh my god. I never knew that. I thought that was just a, s a sound they had. I don't know. Whoa. I'm having fun for all the wrong reasons right now, aren't I? <laughs> I'm like fixated on all the things that are like, what are you doing? Just get the mushrooms. It's like, yeah, but stock sounds, bro. Do you hear that? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. The action rolled. He's fine. Everything's fine. Anyway, now that I'm all the way back to the mushroom location. There you are. So will I instantly lose? Or, I mean, finish this when I grab the last one? My nemesis. You know what? Cancel that. Cancel that. Don't grab it. Oh, it's exquisite. It's not this. It's not a gourmet. Listen, he must be defeated. Does he have a consistent health bar? I don't even know. Die! Yeah. Fire. Take bug. Trying to figure out how to do the extraction part. Yeah, extract. Then recall him to me. Infuse me with your juices. <laughs> nope. Oh, it's it's it seems to have a plated bottom. I bounced right off of its armored plate. Is its tail vulnerable, or is its head? Its head's probably vulnerable. Oh yeah, look at that, 20 damage. I heard its head. The wing took some damage. It's the pouch, you gotta hit the pouch. 15 on the tail. Getting, trying, trying to get used to the mobility and the responsiveness of the character, it feels weird. Anyone who was ever comparing Monster Hunter with Dark Souls, the freaking controls certainly don't feel at all similar. <laughs> they both have uh, animation priority. That's pretty much the only thing, though. Ow. Rude. Yummy. Owie. Whoa, big owie. Okay. 
No, not the poison meat. Uh, uh, herbal medicine. There we go. You're running away again. Capture net. Can I use that on him? I don't think that works that way. Is he piecing out again? Whetstone. I need that. It is hard to kill a dude, you know that? He's just gone again, isn't he? He's all the way over here again. Does he have like a health bar or something? Huh. Well, this has been an introductory foray of sorts, I guess. Let's go ahead and just finish this. I'm not- I don't feel like I'm making any progress. He seems to not be taking damage or something. So I still need to learn how this game works from that perspective to begin with. Oh, yep, there's a 20 second time where you can see the- Yep. Why is dude- why the, why the 10 second intervals? Why not just say how much time's left? This is like a strange hourglass. And then the horrible monster walks directly through me because I am no longer a player because I am in the crazy victory screen. 35 minutes for that. <laughs> Probably not how long it's supposed to take, but that's fine. I'm having fun. Look who gathered stuff. My palico is busy. And I got 443 research points. Level 1 with Puke Puke and Anjanath. Leveled up my spray for some reason. Alright. Oop. Soiled shrimp cap is added to the canteen. Here's the important takeaway, which is that after all my wandering around and nonsense, I, uh, still... Oh, crap. I probably should have read that. Whoops. Uh, despite all my wandering around nonsense crap, I get to upgrade my item. It's gonna gain... Wow. 40 attack. Which admittedly does not translate directly into damage, because I was doing, like, 10 damage per swing. Uh, use up two monster bones. Boom. Boom. Next one's gonna be an ancient bone, which I already have, and one unknown object of some kind. Or I can go down here, and those are also unknown, so not very helpful. But hey, I upgraded my bone rod to a bone rod too. It looks exactly the same, but it's a bit better. It's a bit better, and it looks like if you look at the sharpness meter, it looks like it's yellow for longer. Which means it must hit stay at, f at full damage for longer, based on the sharpness meter. Alright. Cool. 